Have you ever wondered how the relieving capacity of a PSP is determined and what are the factors that affect it? Hi, I am Ajay. I author two best-selling chemical engineering books. Before we get into the details, let us understand what relieving capacity means. In simple terms, it is the maximum amount of fluid a PSV can discharge when PSV pops. Here are the key factors that determine the relieving capacity of a PSV. First one is the set pressure. This is the pressure at which the PSV starts to open and relieve pressure. Second one is the orifice size. The size of the orifice or opening through which the fluid is released affects the capacity of the PSV. A larger orifice allow for greater flow and higher relieving capacity. Third one is the discharge coefficient or CD. The CD value represents the efficiency of the wall in converting pressure energy into flow. The higher the CD value, the more efficiently the wall can relieve pressure. Fourth one is the back pressure. The pressure downstream of the PSV affects the ability to relieve pressure effectively. Higher back pressure reduces the relieving capacity of the PSV. Fifth one is the temperature. The temperature of the fluid being relieved affects its density and viscosity, which in turn impacts the wall's capacity. Sixth one is the overpressure scenarios. Different scenarios like blocked outlet, fire exposure, thermal expansion and other abnormal conditions determine the required relieving capacity. And seventh one is the fluid properties. The characteristics of fluid being handled such as density, viscosity and compressibility affect how it flows through the wall and consequently the relieving capacity. So there you have it. The relieving rate of a PSV is a critical piece of engineering puzzle. It is all about ensuring safety by understanding how much fluid the wall can handle when pressure goes haywire. I hope this was useful to you. Please do share this with your friends. I will be back with another interesting video for you. Take care.